and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and I'm excited to bring you the last two sets of paint gem minis that I got a bit ago, um, just so that you can see exactly what's in there, etc. But I have two this time, foodie themed. So the first one is the Fruits Edition, and this is in their new packaging. Uh, and we have a list of all the fruits. I like it when it has a list because uh, then you actually know what each one's called because it can get very confusing. So we do get a sticker sheet as always. And I always forget how many are on here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 24, 36, 35 different colors in this one. So there's definitely you know, quite a bit more of a mix of colours. To show you the toolkits which come in these absolutely gorgeous little canvas bags, but we have a white boat, we have wax with a blue wax in a heart, this is a squishy for going on the end of your pen, of which we do get a pen with what I think is a, a multi-place, I think it's a nine um, on the end of that one. We also get a three or a four placer and then a pair of plastic tweezers. In the toolkit, oh, look at those colours. Absolutely gorgeous colours in this one. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got some really nice bright oranges, reds. I love the way it's set out like a mini rainbow. Some gorgeous pinks tucked on the end there as well. But the really exciting part comes in one of these nice boxes. I am wondering whether to transport sort of this lot into more of a an A5 zipper bag. I do have quite a few. I'd need to check whether I have enough A5 ones because the one I've just grabbed out is not A5. But I am wondering whether to transfer them into this um, for space saving on my shelf because I really do not have enough space on the shelf for the amount of these kits I have. And then I could pop this into here as well. I would probably just chop it there, pop this on the front and also keep the detailed list on the back and then pop the toolkit in with my toolkits. Um, but these boxes are absolutely great if you have the space. I just don't think I have. So stay tuned, I may, I may do that at some point. But let's have a look at the actual images. <coughs> let's see. Can I actually say all of these? I think I can. I'm struggling to find them all though. So let's just, let's just flip through. Was that? Oh no, it was a guava, that's why. See, I'm struggling to actually find the image to give it the name, because they aren't in any sort of order in here. But I do love the fact that they now come flat. I do find they still need a little bit of trimming. So like this one has got quite a bit of an overhang. It does have a very, very faint gray line. I'm not sure if you can even catch it on camera, but it does have a very, very faint gray line down it um, that gives you sort of the straight edge line. But I do tend to trim them either after I've done them or preferably before I do them. It's just whether I remember. Um, but maybe if I do decide to move them into some A5 wallets, maybe I'll do it as a little sit down job on my desk and actually trim them, trim the edges, you know, straight and trim them all down. Keep the diamonds in the bags. Maybe put dryer sheets in if they look like they need them um, and transfer it all into a bag all as like a little mini process I quite enjoy just sitting there and doing those processes so that is the paintings for the exotic fruits 
pop my little sleeve back on because that's what tells me what's in each one. I say I love these boxes, they stack really nice. I just have too many of them. Um, I do also have this next one, the box is a little bit bashed, um, but this is the traditional food edition. Do we have the names on the back? We do have the names on the back of this one. So we've got the likes of hot dogs and fries, ramen, sushi, English breakfast. Oh, I could probably go and English breakfast right now. English breakfast is a great thing to have for tea as well. A mixed grill, as we call it, which is basically a breakfast at tea time. Uh, so we do get the same toolkit, which I've just gone through. Oh, wow. There looks to be a lot of colours in this one. You see, that is absolutely bursting with colours. Oh, and we may be, looks like we might have the stickers inside on this one. Oh yes. So that's already 36. Uh, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46 different colours in this set to make up these images. I do like the fact that they don't limit the colours too much. So if a set does need more, a set gets more uh, because in effect they are sort of individual images aren't they and these you do get 12 in this one they are a partial as were the last ones so the white background you don't do I get these ones I'm really excited to do hot dog and fries I just think they look so cool and maybe some of these will make it to my kitchen as well. Who knows? If you are having a party, maybe doing a little buffet party or a little get together, maybe you could pop some of these in frames next to, next to some of the food, next to your pizza. Have a little frame with a pizza next to it. It's just those little touches, isn't it? I'm all for those little touches. I think sometimes it can just make the biggest difference. You can put that one next to the salad. What's that? Yeah, Greek Greek salad. But you could pop that one next to your little salad things. Just bring a little, a little bit of visual interest, a little bit of a talking point um, to some party food if you've got it laid out. Or maybe just pop them in your kitchen, you know, just as decoration. Who knows? See, all these ideas float round in my head. I just need the time to implement them all. But I'll, I'll pass on the thoughts and ideas that I have as and when I have them. Because one of you guys may either expand on that idea, which is always good, and sometimes that is extremely helpful for me. Um, and some of you might have the chance to actually put it into action a lot sooner than maybe I do. And I love to see the pictures, things like that. But I will pop, of course, the links to these kits below. I do also have a discount code for Paint Gem that will get you 10% off any kits that you want. And I think you only need to purchase two to be eligible for free shipping. Maybe three if you use my discount code. Uh, but it will show you on the website when it trips into free shipping. So it's always worth getting a few um, and treat yourself to some little mini paintings to either decorate your home or just because they're fun to do. So why not? Uh, I will be taking quite a few of these with me, I think, when I go to Australia. Rather than transporting a big one, I will be taking some kit up ones of these. A lot better for my suitcase considering I often bring back quite a bit. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching uh, for this final set for now of Paint Gem Minis. I will be sure to bring you any new sets as and when I get my mitts on them. But I will speak to you all again soon.